XRP saw the pump that we were looking for. It went all the way up to 0.55 cents. That was the next key level that we said was going to be resistance that we needed to get above. Because if you look all the way to the left, that was that trouble area that all of 2022 and 2023 we ran into besides when we broke above it in July. So we broke off from that point in July in the bear market. That was the trenches of it came up in September 2022. Rejection, rejection, rejection in April and then rejection in June. And then we smashed through it, then came back down below it in August. And then we found a rejection in August and then a rejection in September and then another rejection here in September. But now we're heading into October and this could be the month that we smashed through it again. And we were back down here as 49 cents. We went all the way up to 55 cents. That was that 10% move we were looking for right there. And now we came back down a little bit. So we're going to cover today if there's more upside or we're going to come back down and all that good stuff. And even Stellar experienced a good little pop here. So we're up on that excellent margin trade that we took all the way back down here. So same with XRP, of course, as well, too. So if you're new here, subscribe to the notification bell, leave a like and a comment. And if you've been here, leave a star in the comments. We're going to cover it all today. So we're going to go into the market drivers at first. Let me just turn down this volume so your ears don't get screeched from, from that sound. And let's dive into it. So bond yields are red today, down 0.35%. If we take a look at what we've been looking at, which is the Stargate signals with the sell warning. Yeah, so man... I'm telling you, if we nailed this top with the bond yields and the dollar, that's going to be legendary because we made that video Wednesday about the sell warning and the purple FIMA. So far, we've been rejected by it. So rejection, rejection. And then if we look down here, we're, if we can still see some downwards momentum with the bond yields by early next week, we'll splash a sell now signal and likely the, the momentum's done to the upside and we're going to curl over here. So bond yields. So far, so good on that momentum waning. Then if we look at the dollar, it's going to be legendary if we call that top, top two because we called it back in 2022. And if we did it again, that's just nuts. But same thing. We're looking at the Stargate screener with the sell warning on the one day chart. Yep. So we had called it the day of sell warning up at 106.80. And so far we're at 106.11. If we go to the 12 hour chart, we're having a nice pump up candle right now in the 12 hour. And if it found support at that 21 moving average, but we got a 12 hour sell now signal that came in, which is solid. So that's exactly what we we're looking for. We have the momentum dying off in the 12 hour chart and we wanted to spill that over to the one day chart. And if we can pull down below 106 and close below 106, preferably 105. To me, that's going to pull down the momentum here. It will flash a one day sell now signal and that should do it. So, so far, so good on the market drivers, bond yields, weak dollar, weak. And then if we look at the stock market, let's see if it found a bounce and it did. And it did. So, you know, we found a bounce here. We're hanging on by a thread. We had made the video, I think it was yesterday, two days ago, saying, hey, we're at a critical juncture. Expect volatility. We need to see the market drivers pull down here so we can save the stock market, save Bitcoin. And that's what we're seeing so far. So stock market is finding a little bounce here. If we go to the 12 hour chart, yeah, we reclaim back above this key level. So it's critical we hold 14,000, like 680, and then get back above 15,250. We look at the total crypto market cap. Total crypto market cap now is pressing up to that key level 1.06. We're at 1.053 right now. If we take this low mini high down to the low, we got above the 786 there, but didn't close. We had to close the candle above it on the one day chart. So if we can get back above 1.056, that'll be solid. Then ultimately, if we can get and smash through 1.071 trillion, then we could see us come up here to 1.18 trillion, which will be Bitcoin back into the 30K area. We're looking at the one day chart. We see the momentum shooting up here. The pink's coming up, stock RSI is crossing up, TSI is about it. It's everything that we're seeing in the, the videos this week happening as we speak. And right now, this one day TSI is ready to smash through the zero line every single time we've seen a pump with that, every single time. So we want to keep this momentum by the end of the day. And then by the weekend as well, too. And then we could see a nice week for the first week of October. So this is looking great so far. If you throw in the two day chart and throw in the Stargate screener, let's see if we got the buy now. We did back here, but it was a three day we were waiting on. And we have a, a day and seven hours left for this candle to close. And so far we got the vertical blue buy now signal. So if we can even maintain where we're at right now, but honestly, I'd like to see us get above that three day 21 moving average here, this purple line, if we can close in a day and seven hours, so by like Sunday above 
1.056 trillion, preferably like 1.06 trillion. We'll have a candle body close above the 21 moving average. We'll have the three day buy now confirmed. And then we can start sending it up. So this is very, very good news. If we look at the altcoin market cap, I'm sure we got some good news over there as well, too. And let's take a look. So we're at 328 billion. So we got above that key 325 billion, but we need to get above now 333 billion. If you look on the 12 hour chart, like we're pressing up with this horizontal resistance here. So we fell off from this point, rejection got above, and then we smashed up from this point, we fell from this point, rejection, rejection, rejection. We're at it right now. So if we can get above now 333 billion, which is where this 200 moving average is on the 12 hour chart, then we can send it up higher to 350 billion. You all know by now, if we get above there, then we're ready to take off. Bitcoin on the one day chart, on the one day chart got above the 50 moving average and it looks like we came down to retest it as support. So we smashed up above it yesterday, came back down and as long as we can stay above 26,660, then we're in good business. And then we gotta press up and get above from this high down to the low here. We gotta get above 27,200 key level because we saw rejection yesterday there and today. And then we're coming back down and holding out this key support. As you can see, key support, because we saw rejection there, rejection, rejections, rejections, rejection, got above support now. So those are our levels for Bitcoin. So far, so good. We look at the one day chart and we're crossing up. XRP definitely needs to get above 55 cents for bigger upside. But like if we pull down, I'd love to see us hold 52 cents flat and worst case scenario, come back down to 51 and a half cents. That's where I'd want to see us hold the support. I would not want to see us come down like below 51 cents. And if we did, I'd want to see it hold the 0.50, 50. That was that critical level that we needed to break above. Once we did, we were ready to shoot. Uh, but yeah, and if we do come back down to there, I'd want it to be a wick. But it's got momentum, man. I'm looking at the volume and we saw a nice big spike there. So look at that spike in the volume. You know, we haven't seen a spike in the volume like that since that capitulation in August. So this is a real move. You know, don't don't get fake out phobia. There's a lot of fake outs, but this is a real move right now. So we are at the 786. And if I had a couple of things here, you can see we're at the 786 from the high that we set over here to the low that we set. You can see the 786 at 0.5293. If we can have a daily candle close above where we're at, um, we could see 61.36 cents, 0.6136 cents. But really, if we can, this uh, 12 hour chart, our first resistance will be around 56, that 12 hour 200 moving average. But we're in good business right now. It looks very strong with the momentum. And you can see on the one day chart, we're pressing up against the top of the void line band. And if we smash through it, we're, we're going to experience a big move. And then you can look at that TSI crossing up heavy vertical. This is a real move. So this is not just the, this is just the start of it. Stock RSI crossing up, TSI ready to cross heavy above that zero line, dark green in the MACD, stock RSI cross up, pink coming up, everything we want to see. And then we look at the two day chart crossing up, all good. Look at this. Yeah, I'm ready to strike on this. I know you guys are too. I'm going to hit this harder. If we break above 54 and a half, we could send it right up into the 60s. So look at the three day chart as well too, ready to cross up. Um, looking at the stock RSI coming up above that 50 line. And yeah, so this is a real move for XRP. And then XLM is going to follow, of course, as well, too. So I'm not going to go in depth with XLM. XLM will follow XRP as well. And we had a clear breakout. As you can see, this was our rejection point. We had a breakout above here, back down, rejection, rejection, and then we smash up above it. So I want to see XLM hold above 0.115, and then we can start sending it up to 12 and a half cents. So that's going to be it. Oh, and then that chart we're looking at, Bitcoin against XRP, the inverse, we broke that key level. And this to me seems like the beginning of the move. So I'm ready to strike on this. I know you guys are too. If you're not a Stargate VIP, come join the Discord. Link is in the bio. Request Rob at Stargate as a friend and we'll get you kitted and suited up this weekend ASAP because we were in the calm before the storm. We just got a little bit of some rain and some lightning in here. But before it goes all out thunder, we need to get you guys kitted and suited up. So I'll be in the Discord, link is in the bio, friend request me and we'll get you going. So I'll see you over there.